this is where my life belongs. All right, so today we're going to look on how is it that we create a st storyboard using canva.com. Now, Canva will allow you to create the storyboard free of cost however there is a cost to download and share or there are other features that they charge for all right so after going to canva website which is www.canva.com you will be directed to the home page once you're on the home page if you had a Canva account, then you would select login and login using the different medium. Or if you are new, you are going to select sign up. And when you select sign up, you can sign up with Google, Facebook, or you can sign up with them where they will ask you some questions or give you some fields where you must fill in. Now I'm going to log in using Google because that is what I signed up with. Okay. After logging in, it's going to take you to your home page and on your home page, you will see design anything. They'll give you their information here. Um, you have create, design, poster, logo, um, video presentation, flyer, and this is the storyboard that I created, that I created on canva.com and i'm going to show you how is it that i created this storyboard all right so let's go back okay so what you're going to do now is that right here where it says design anything in this search bar you're going to search for storyboard once you are at the storyboard section you can scroll through and select a design that you like good now I used this one so this is the one that I'm going to select and it opened a new window all right so from this section now to the left you have templates photos elements text video background upload and folders all right so for the template this is where you can basically select the template so let's say you i selected this template but i decided on using a next template then i could change the template right here but i'm going to stick to it um photos and we're going to come to photos shortly we're not going to use the elements or the other section but i'm just going to now show you what is it you can do so let's say right here where i have this um, image here if i wish not to use this but i want to use like a circular i can use that there Resize. so basically instead of having the square i could have So instead of having the square, I could insert um, circular images, this shape, um, which, which, which I will use for my images later on. And you can copy that and bring it across to the other sections. No, I am not planning on using those. So let me remove and go back to what was. Here, this is what I'm creating so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to change the background color so we're going to go to background and basically what you are going to select is this color palette or you can select from what they have here whatever it is you're liking you can select and the background will change 
no because i'm recreating i'm going to use the blue which is this one good and here i'm going to change the writing so i have the writing to yellow so what you're going to do is that you're going to select the palette select yellow and you can select anywhere in the color palette and basically select the color that you desire right there so if you notice that changed to yellow then i'm going to change the font size to 14 because i want it bigger all right let me get rid of the color right there and minimize this and let us zoom in a little closer so we can see everything that we are supposed to see is that blind all right so i'm going to change this text right here and all you do you click in the box and highlight so i'm going to have rules for the virtual rules for the virtual classroom So after I selected rules for the virtual classroom here, if you wanted, you can um, insert different text right here. Welcome little one, on sale, love, peace, and joy. So you could add text to the ends here, but as I said, I am not changing that part so I have rules for the virtual classroom here I'm going to delete this image right here and then I'm going to go to photos whenever I want to add a photo from the Canva library you're going to go to photos now my first image that I'm going to have I wanted something which was showing sign up And then you're basically going to scroll through and look so whatever it is that you're doing you just search this is the one that I want and it's going to come a little bit larger than you desire so after you resize it you basically drag it to the spot and it will fit in the the area for you so I want to explain this so each each little section is like a scene that you you are creating so i'm going to explain the see this scene right here this is a bit fine let me remove that so this is fine or small so i want to change i'm going to use 12 font size for all right here and the first scene here i'm going to have get onto the various platforms So highlight the text change I'm going to change it to yellow um, right here all right let's get off that and then get so get onto the player various platforms that's my heading and right here in the lower section here I am going to describe or have um, an explanation for this so i'm going to change this to font size 12 again highlight it back and then i am going to describe what that is saying so underneath i have create a schoology account so underneath i have create oh lord create a schoology account Schoology and Zoom, sorry. So create a Schoology and Zoom account. Jesus. All right, so that's what you're going to do to get onto the various platform. And when you are signing up for these sites, you are using your full government name. 
government name and your form um, example you're going to sign up as Mark Brown from 3A so here you find that the let me extend the box so I can have everything fitting right so you just move it around so I have create a Schoology and zoom account using your full government name and your form example Mark Brown 3A right moving on to scene 2 I'm going to delete this image so for scene 2 I have the days of the week so I'm going to go back to photos and I'm going to search that um, days, days of the week all right so now I'm going to scroll and I'm going to use this one now once it is that you're using the canva image it is going to come up with their watermark in there and that's fine all right so here I have days of the week here as I said before for all text I'm just going to change it to font size 12 and I want this to be yellow all right so let's change the top section which is what the scene is about so right there what I had was join the daily classes on Zoom. So join the daily classes on Zoom. And then I gave an explanation for that. So let me highlight this text. Highlight the text, delete that there, and then increase the font size to 12. Alright, so what is this part saying? So right here what I have is that classes are held monday to fridays on zoom starting at 12. so let's type that starting at 12 noon for 40 minutes and then i have beyond time And then we're finished with that scene. Good. All right, so let's minimize that part and bring over that. So each time you want to clear the screen, basically just click on whatever you had. So let's change scene three. And changing scene three, now I am going to delete this image. And I want to have a mute mic image. So I'm going to have that mute microphone, good. And then basically just select the image that you like. And I like this one. Resize the image. And then just drag it into where the slot that you want it. So that's there and that's fine. So for scene three, let's do our basics, which is to increase the font size to 12. And then change the color to yellow. Then after change it, take it off. All right. All right. So what is scene three now? So for scene three, what I'm going to have is mute your microphone or audio. All right. And what the explanation here, highlight the sticks, increase the font size, and then after I increase the font size now, I'm going to delete. So basically just remove the text here. So my explanation for this part is that upon joining the Zoom classes, mute your audio so as to not cause confusion and disruption. So let's type. Alright, and that's for scene three. So because I am finished with this, because I'm finished with this row, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lock it. I'm going to lock this in place. So I'm basically just locking the information here. Alright. So that's finished with. 
So moving down now to scene four, I'm going to delete this image. And for scene four, what I'm going to have is a chat photo. So let's look for chat. And I want this one. So again, all I need to do is to resize so that I can drag it into the spot. And that's that one here. So again, change this to font size 12 and then change the color to yellow all right and then let's minimize those all right so let's explain what scene four is saying so scene four is use the chat room do the same for the explanation here and i want 12 And as I say, you can always delete and then change. Alright, so what's the explanation here? So during the virtual classes, use the chat room to ask questions relating to the lesson. The classroom is not for socializing. So let's type that. What is happening now? The text has gone over this section. Oh my. Never fear. So basically, you click on the white section, ensure that the entire area is highlighted to the bottom, and just drag it down. And then that fixes it. Simple and easy. Alright, so let's move on to scene 5. For scene 5, I have a question mark which is post so I think I googled I think I searched for post work no posted work yes I think that is what I Google searched and let's search and see if I find the image that I oh here it is let's minimize again and then drag into I think it's the wrong one I clicked on Oops. ah good to the section right here so what is scene 5 about because looking on this so let's increase let's minimize this Let's increase this font size to 12 and change the to yellow. Alright, so what is this part about? So let's select that one. So for this scene, log into school logi. Alright, so my explanation no part right here I am going to delete it first and then I'm going to increase the font size to 12 all right good so I'm going to type in this part sign into Schoology daily to get notes and check if any assignments have been posted and their due dates full stop School is not all school is out, however, assessments must be done. Fix this up. So let me expand this one first. All right. So I expand, expanded that, and then click on the white section as I said. Which sometimes yes, 
and then just drag it in line with the last one that's that all right scene six and last i think i had the respect so let's search for that respectful all right so let me delete this one here and i want respect is key i want to minimize that and then drag it down to right there so respect is key so let's minimize there and right here the usual increase the font size and change the color to yellow so right here for scene six what do what is scene six saying be respectful to all users all right so let's explain what this part is saying so first let me delete increase the font size to 12 right here and then let's keep it moving so right here i'm going to type zero tolerance to cyber bullying and disrespect to any members of the virtual classroom because respect is key all right so let's um drag this down so everything is the same size even though we don't necessarily need the space and then that's that so now that we are finished with our storyboard you have the option of publishing and when you publish you can download you can share the link you can present um, you can Facebook page, share to Facebook, Twitter, email, whatever it is. But if it is that you select download, you'll have to pay for the... Whichever option you do, it's $5, you'll have to pay for it. So, what you're going to do after you're finished creating your storyboard, you're going to go to share. And then you're going to enter the email address of your teacher or yes your teacher and then you're going to select so here it's not to edit you're going to select share a link to view good and then enter your teacher's email address so um, Right, and then you would select send invite so your design was shared want to share design more easily invite others into your team it's free that's what will come up so when it is that the when it is that the whoever you send it to they will have to know sign in or sign up and after they sign in or sign up they will be able to view your own storyboard all right so i hope that this will help you in creating your storyboard of course we could have created this storyboard using microsoft word or using microsoft powerpoint stay safe remember to wash your hands and maintain social distance get yourself a mask good all right